so guys so let me start this video by congratulating cricket australia for winning their maiden world test championship for this year 2020 hello everyone welcome back once again to my youtube channel so a disappointing end for indian cricket team and for all the indian cricket lovers across the country so what happened exactly where did it all go wrong so i'll be giving you some of the points which india should have rectified into this world test championship final so yes so in the wtc final 2023 india versus australia so australia were put into back first by rohit sharma they amassed 469 runs then india were bowled out for 296 giving australia a healthy first innings lead and then in the second innings australia had declared after setting up a target of 444 runs for india to chase it down and that would have been a world record run chase in test cricket history but that was not to be the case as india were bundled out for just 234 runs in the fourth innings giving australia a victory in the final by 209 runs and so with this australia becomes the first nation to win all the major icc trophies and it is still in their cabinet be it the icc world cup 50 over world cup be it the t20 world cup the champions trophy and now they have added the silverware by winning the world test championship final so rohit sharma's decision to bowl at the kennington oval in london i mean was that a wrong decision so when the toss was held the overcast conditions that compelled rohit sharma to bowl first and they knew that they were going to chase some target set by Australia in the fourth innings and mind you the pressure of a final and chasing a target is always going to be difficult and yes the Indian bowlers Mohammad Shami and Mohammad Siraj they responded really well to Rohit Sharma's decision to bowl first but after that Shardul Thakur and Umesh Yadav they lacked the penetration and the precision which was required by them to keep a check on the Australian batsman and so the decision to bowl first was proved to be costly because after the first hour of play clouds cleared up and then it was a bright sunny day and it was a good track for batting. The decision to leave out Ravi Chandra and Ashwin it is quite baffling. I mean, I really did not understand how can a captain leave out the world's number one ranked test spinner, rather test bowler, Ravi Chandran Ashwin, when they are playing a final of a ICC tournament and that to world test championship final. Even Sachin Tendulkar, after the match, he tweeted saying that world class spinners doesn't need any rank turners to prove their medal. They adjust their line and lengths, they take use of the bounce, they have a lot of variations and Ravi Chandran Ashwin, he really deserved to play the World Test Championship Final and I'm sure he would have made a lot of difference considering the fact that Australia had five left-handers in their batting lineup and the thorn in the flesh was Travis Head for India as he had scored 163 runs and that was a game-changing innings in the WTC final and mind you Nathan Lyon the off-spinner he also picked up five wickets and yes the decision to leave out Ravi Ashwin had proved to be too costly for India and now the short selection of the Indian batters I mean it is, I, it is quite surprising to see Rohit Sharma who was batting so confidently at one point of time and suddenly when Nathan Lyon comes to bowl and he starts the reverse sweep, the paddle sweep 
and then he got out immediately after that. Pujara playing an unusual Pujara like shot. He was trying the ram shot just at the last moment that costed his wicket. And then Virat Kohli, he also went out chasing a wide delivery of Scott Boland. I mean, the top three batters, the senior batsmen had to take up more responsibility in this World Test Championship final. And now guys, the most important topic, the most debated topic that why IPL has been given more priority by the Indian players. I mean, the central contracted Indian players, they could have left IPL way early just to ensure that they have a good preparation time in England, do some match practices. But then that was not to be the case. You can see all the players, they played IPL till the very last game. And just a week later, they had the World Test Championship final. So even after the final, after losing the game, Rohit Sharma had confessed that they needed 20 to 25 days of preparation to for a big match like a WTC final. So I think it is high time that if India is reaching the WTC final, then either the players who are going to play the WTC final, they should be withdrawn way ahead before the WTC final starts or else the scheduling of the IPL should be made in such a way that there is a significant time window, preparation time window between the IPL final and the start of the WTC final because that has proved to be costly for India and this is the second consecutive time that India has lost the WTC final first in 2021 against New Zealand and now in 2023 against Australia. And apart from all these, India had also lost their first choice players starting from Chaspreet Bhumra. India really missed him in this WTC final. And then the left-hander Saupo Rishabh Pant. He was the backbone for India lower down the order and he has proved his mettle in a lot of matches be it in Australia or in England in the last WTC cycle. So India really missed the services of these two players in the WTC final owing to some injury. And then Pierre Rahul, he was the designated number five test batsman for India and also in England last summer he had opened the innings with Rohit Sharma and then all because of IPL an unfortunate injury to KL Rahul also ruled him out of the WPC final and also his backup Shreya Sire he was also nursing an injury and so all these injuries had aggravated to Indian team's problems in the WPC final. And then last but not the least, it is really high time now that the Indian team management, the selectors start thinking for the Indian test team, the future of India. I mean, you can see Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, Cheteshwar Pujara, Ajinkya Rahane, Mohammad Shami, Umesh Yadav all have crossed 30, 35 years of age. And now it is high time that they start out phasing these players out of test cricket and start grooming the new talents, the new youngsters to take Indian test cricket forward and give them a long run so that in starting from this new WTC cycle 2023-25, if the young talents are given a long run, then they will be match ready for the WTC final provided India reach the final of WTC 2025. And then Rohit Sharma, after the match, he also said one thing which was quite interesting. He, ha he was suggesting that a WTC final should not be a one-off match, rather it should be like a three-match series. But then he also pointed out that there is hardly any time window to fit in three test matches for a WTC final. 
but I am not of the opinion that a WTC final should be a three match series because all finals are like a one of game you call it for football world cup or any other olympics olympic games a final is always a one of and then also he was suggesting that why every time the WTC final is played in the month of june why not it can't be played played in the month of march and why only in england and not in any other part of the world yes that is right it can be played in any other country i mean icc should bring out some rule like how we have the icc t20 world cup how we have the 50 over world cup the hosting rights keeps on changing from one country to the other so in a similar way even the wtc final should be held in different countries and in different time of the year just to make things more interesting so what is your take on this guys just let me know and type in your comments in your comment section and let me know about it that's it for now so with this the wtc cycle for 2021 23 is over and now we will be moving to wtc 23 25 and india will be kicking off this cycle starting july next month with a tour to west indies So India will be playing a two match test series against West Indies and mind you India have an away series against South Africa and Australia in this upcoming WTC cycle and then they have home series against Bangladesh, New Zealand and England. So let's hope that things change the selectors try to amend some changes to the Indian test team and we are hoping that in the coming cycle india can go one step further and they can lift the world test championship meets in the upcoming test cycle thanks for your time thanks for